We haven't had a Lexus GS series for a while. And this particular car is a GS 450H. So it's got a car running behind me, that's why it's got the light on the back bumper. <clears throat> it's got a full Lexus service history from new. With the last service, which was 150,000 kilometre service, already being done at Newcastle Lexus. The car's done 145,000 kilometres, and I was pretty happy when I saw it had been to Newcastle Lexus, so it probably means this car's done a bit of country driving. It's interesting, a lot of Lexuses we get have got full Lexus service histories, whereas if, if you look at a Mercedes or a BMW or an Audi, it's always first couple of services at the dealer and then it goes to independents and service stations and whatever. I think it's because Lexus owners are quite fussy. Well, not only that, because I've had Lexuses myself. Lexuses are actually pretty inexpensive to service at the dealer. And in some cases, some real cases, I've actually found the dealer to be cheaper than an independent. The good thing about the GS 450H, it's a hybrid obviously, it comes with everything. Distance cruise control, Bluetooth, reverse camera, heated seats, air conditioned seats, memory seats, electric seats, and the list goes on. It's also got a rear blind. But if you're looking at this car, I'm sure you're aware of all the options. Um, obviously it has keyless entry, keyless start, it's silver with black leather interior, and for around $20,000, I don't think you're gonna get much better value than this. You've got reliability, economy, safety. Again, if you're looking at a Lexus, it's probably because you've owned one before, or you own one currently. You know how reliable it is, and comfortable, and that's why you're looking at another one. For some other people, they might have a European car, a Volkswagen or an Audi or similar, which may have cost a fortune to run. It might have issues with its DSG gearbox or its two-litre turbo engine or whatever. And you just want a break from continuously spending thousands of dollars on your car. Whatever it might be, I think these are, I really think these are great. Some of the Lexuses I've had, I've sold, how many have I? I've had two actually, which I've sold over the years with, uh, one had about 439,000 kilometers, and the other had 370 or 80,000 kilometers. People say, wow, they're big kilometers that, you know, must have been, must have been stuffed. Well, I can tell you right now that one of the cars which I sold, which was the one with 300 and 80 odd thousand kilometers, I sold in 2008. It was a LX470, it was the full drive. And uh, the person who bought it was using it to commute to Dubbo a, f a couple of times or a few times a month. He's actually still driving it. I wouldn't even know how many kilometres it's got now, but as I said, I've had first personal experience with Lexus and their reliability. And if you're looking at a 2007 model, Mercedes, you'd, you'd probably be looking at spending twenty-five or thirty thousand, depending on the engine, obviously. Another surprising thing about the 450 hybrid is it's got a significant amount of power. I'm not sure what the the figures are, zero to hundred. I haven't looked. But I've driven them and I've driven this one and it feels like it's probably gets to 100 in under 7 seconds, yet you get a, a very good fuel consumption. It's got the combination of a petrol motor and an electric motor. I actually spoke to an Uber driver the other night. He had a Lexus RX 450 hybrid. And I said, what's this car like? He said, it's been absolutely reliable. He services it every year and he said that it costs about $600 a year to service, but he's doing a lot of kilometers. And he said he's basically just gonna keep it until the new model comes out. And it's interesting, often when we sell Lexuses like these, we do sell them to people who currently have a Lexus. 
some people bought an LS400 in the 1990s and were so impressed that they've continually bought Lexuses after that. And obviously their circumstances have changed and they may have gone from an LS to an ES or a GS or a four wheel drive, whatever it might be, but they've stuck with the brand because the absolute reliability in a car like this with just 145,000 kilometres and a full Lexus history, two keys, should be absolutely reliable. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We're located just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport in Marrickville, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching.